Today we are going to learn about filters in JavaScript. So I am in one of my channel, destination filter. So I'll just come back uh, for the reference purpose. I am in this particular channel and I am going to the destinations and the filters over here. So I'm going to delete all the existing filters which I created for understanding purpose. Yep, perfect. So now we can freshly start with our JavaScript filter as we have done with rule builders previously. I'll just add a new rule in the filter section and I'll change it to JavaScript. There are like multiple options over here. We are going to look into JavaScript now. Perfect. And I want to create some random uh, JavaScript filter. So what I am trying to look over here is like I'll go to yeah PIDFA is like a name patient name. I want to make sure my message has PIDFA value or else it shouldn't pass. So this filter should accept PIDFA value like if there is PIDFA value it should send to the outbound or else it shouldn't send it. So if you ask me what is PIDFA more keenly I have one sample example over here. So if you go to PIDFI, it can be anything. So I just gave a random name as Apple over here, but it can be anything, your name or any patient name. So we'll go back here and I'll uh, let you know one of the easiest process, even if you are not into JavaScript or anything, I'll help you out how things work. So what I'll do, I'll just type the comment, accept message only if PIDFI value is there else filter out the message this is perfect right oh, okay now we need to write the code so it is very simple I'll just uh, create a template so if and I'm going to write some logic here if this logic is satisfied I am going to write some value which should be working out okay I'm, I'm making a more number of spaces to understand so again else if that logic is not working I'm going to give another value over here okay so this is a basic template if you're uh, writing if logics if there is one condition over here inside this brackets if it's working the condition over here inside this floor brackets will work else this will work. so what I am going to do is like so I'm going to drop this particular PID, sorry, PID 5.1 into this brackets. And I want to check whether this PID 5.1 value exists or not. So it's like if it doesn't exist, the value of the PID 5.1 would be zero. So I want to give a basic condition. I'll give LENGTH length is greater than zero and I'm closing the brackets so this will satisfy the condition if PID 5.1 length is greater than zero okay if PID 5.1 length is greater than zero it should return true okay so this value will be executed if this is not satisfied it doesn't work so what I'll write written false so basically this is not the format of a javascript it shouldn't be written in the way there should be proper indentation and everything but for the understanding purpose and to make it easy i'm writing in this way so what this condition says if pid 5.1 dot length is greater than zero the message should pass so i'll just give a comment over here it should pass okay i'll again give a comment over here if it's not satisfied it should get filtered out so I have unchecked all the previous filters which I created so this won't work only the filters which we are enabled checked that will work the first one is MSS 3.1 which exists already so no need to worry about we are only checking about this JavaScript filter currently okay let's uh, save this and go ahead and check if it's working or not perfect and I deployed the channel so we don't have any revisions over here so it has been deployed and we are going to test it so i made sure everything is zero over here and i have a basic 
message paid message over here you can see one two three four five so pid 5 field is empty over here and I copied this and what should it happen if it is empty according to our new logic which we have created it shouldn't pass it should get filtered out in the destination over here so this is my pointer so it should get filtered out as we don't have anything in that and I'm just processing it see the message has been received and it has been filtered out it has not sent to the destination the filter is working again we'll test with another message so we will give some value in the pid5 filter okay so I love apple so I gave it as apple so if we have a value it should pass it shouldn't get filtered out so we have zero here if you look when I process the message it should get passed let's try our luck and I'll refresh perfect this filter is working perfectly without any issues and I'm going to the filters so this is working so you can give comments as uh, you want and and there's no concept that if you are not uh, using proper space and lines uh, it will not work the code will work until unless uh, the logics are satisfied so that's how, uh, how we uh, do a basic filters using JavaScript and we'll be looking into more filters in future thank you